Hey, I'm Sloth. Today we're going to be making a basic ass dubstep bass for you basic ass producers. And it sounds like this. Alright, let's get into it. First, we're going to initialize the preset. Keep the saw wave on saw wave. Put, bump the unison up to 4. Put the detune on 0. 0.6 and the blend on 85. Next, we'll be making an LFO shape for the level. Bring the octave down one and put it on trigger. So you have a sound that sounds like that. Next we'll go to oscillator B, go into the spectral tab and put on bowed metal. Bump the unison up to four, put the detune on 0.6 and put the blend on 85. Up the wavetable position to around 48. Put the level all the way down. FM from B. Put the FM on around 73. So sound sounds like that. Now we're going to go to the notch 12 filter. Put the cutoff all the way up. Put the LFO on the cutoff and bring it all the way down. And bring the drive up. Next we're going to go to the effects tab, put the mix for hyper on 64, keep the mix for dimension all the way down. Next we're going to be using hard clip distortion. Put the drive on around 22, right it to the first LFO, and put that on 61. Next, we'll be putting the EQ on, cut off the low end, put the frequency on 94 hertz, put the LFO on it, put it to about 29 for that vowel -y sound. Next, we'll be putting on reverb and delay. Put the mix down all the way to about five on the reverb and same with the delay. You can fuck with the feedback. I normally put on like ping pong. You can do whatever you want with that. Next, you can put it on a mixer track. I've selected mixer track 10. We put on a multiband compressor. I put it on bright normally for my sounds and we'll EQ the low end out. Next, uh, for just macro stuff, you can put a macro on the LFO to make it go as slow and as fast as you want and you can put a mod on this the, you can put a mod on semitones so you can fuck with it during your drop and there's your dubstep sound in context with drums and sub bass it'll sound like this <laughs> Alright, that's all for today. Put any other sound design suggestions in the comments or just let me know what you want to hear next. And that'll be it.